Hey guys, it's Mel. I'm just, uh, I've made a new YouTube account to try to capture some Sims fun. Today we're playing The Sims 4 because my Sims 3 isn't working so good, even though I prefer it, that's fine. We're playing Sims 4. So I'm gonna be remaking a guy that I made yesterday where we made him this kind of ugly dude and we stuck him in a house and we just tried to play around with the neighbors and see if we could get multiple partners and everyone ended up getting pregnant. It was quite entertaining. So I thought I'd remake that. So what I did for making the sim was that I got my boyfriend to choose the certain, you know, elements of him by saying yes or no or just telling me a color and things like that. So he is a young young adult with that voice and he's got sleepy walk and we didn't customize his gender yesterday but we'll have a quick look today who's gonna be masculine everything gets out of his pregnant we standing up okay that's all normal his name is John Thompson and sorry my hands are in the shot this is before I haven't set up my screen capture whoops I'm doing this wrong my boyfriend chose the name Okay, so aspiration, we chose yesterday, I believe we chose food. And we've got two options, master chef or master mixologist. I don't know what that is, so we'll go for the chef. Um, picking some traits, yesterday he was hot-headed and that made things very difficult, so we'll stick that on there again. He gets in weird moods and things, so that was entertaining, I found. Um, his second trait, foodie, because, you know, he's a chef and everything. Um, third trait, we went for mean. Mean, there it is. Okay, um, so that also made some mood swings happen and made some of the options for gameplay quite interesting. Um, we're just speeding through here, but basically my boyfriend chose for him to have a gap between his teeth. Uh, he was bald with ginger hair. He had black eyes, I believe we do that in a second, here we go. And then um, his clothing taste was just bad. And also I asked him to choose a feature of his face to just, ex uh, what is the word, exaggerate. He chose nose, so this is his beak that I've made here. Looks great. So this is John Thompson's face. Tried to make the lips a little more Look, look normal, if that makes sense, from afar with that giant bee. We made him a little chubby. Um, I did eventually get rid of his tattoo. Yesterday, I think, he did have some terrible tattoos on The Sims 3, but then it crashed, so we're doing Sims 4 today. Oh, did I do it on Sims 4 yesterday? I think I did both, but it crashed. Then I had another go on Sims 4, just because it wouldn't load again. But I remember, yeah, we had, no, it was definitely Sims 4 yesterday as well. Anyway, that's just me babbling on, sorry. So back to it. He has poor taste, lots of yellow, lots of things that don't match. We'll take that hat off, we don't want that on there. Okay, and yeah, just this is his clothes. Sorry, this is so fast, it's just not that interesting. So you can see all his outfits anyway. Here we go, that's him, he's done. Okay, cool, okay. So this is John Thompson, he's the ugly stud. Um, we're gonna see, can John get a girlfriend? So this is the town we picked yesterday. He's gonna live here. This is the house we picked yesterday. It's kind of small, kind of cheap, but it's it does the job. So we're gonna see if the same neighbors appear as yesterday. There were three girls and a guy yesterday. He got with all of them. So there was a girl with a blonde plait, a girl with a hat, and a curvy girl, um, and a dude. This is the house. I haven't changed anything. It's all just how it is in the game. I think he was complaining about that bed being a cheap night's sleep. Sorry again for the quality. I really didn't think this through. I just did it. <laughs> okay, so this is our guy. Here he is. And his first task is going to be to go to the bookshelf. And we'll get him some books on cooking because, you know, he wants to be a chef and all that. Um, so purchase those. Sorry you can't see it. I haven't set my screen capture up. That'll be the next time. Sorry. Right, so he's got his books, he's going to go over and learn some skills, and then his neighbors should come. So it's taking some time. I'm sure that the neighbors came sooner last time, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I hear a knock. Come on. 
Oh, it's glitching. Oh, there she is. Okay, girl with the hat is here. She's from yesterday as well. I'm stoked that it's the same. Oh, there's blonde girl. Okay, she was the first girlfriend yesterday. Hopefully, oh, what's he doing? He's just going to leave that there. I think he just walks through the wall. Okay, we're glitching. That's fine. Um, so he's introducing him to stuff to the neighbors. He needs to do friendly introductions so that we can get this to work. Oh, there's more people. I don't know these two. These are different from yesterday, which is interesting. Um, we got an elder lady and a young adult. Oh my god, she just walked through him. Oh my god, he just walked through her. <laughs> okay, okay, we're glitching. That's fine. So we're just gonna have a little chat here. Just gonna get to know everybody, see if we can flirt with anyone. <laughs> It's quite a cute picture, isn't it? All just chilling there. They're all just talking. Oh, her arms are kind of coming through. Oh, so it says. Okay, where's she going? What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh my god, are you... Are you watching the TV? We're having a chat outside, girl. Whatever your name is. What's her name? Her name is Summer. What are you doing, Summer? Oh, and I've left that book on the floor. That's great. Okay. Maybe if I get my guy to come inside, we can get the girls to also come inside. And the guy. Sorry, I forget who's there. So just to introduce as well. Um, Okay, he's inside. We'll try and get the girls to come in. So the guy is called London. The elder is called Sally. They're not going to come in. We're just going to have to go back out. Okay. Um, so the black girl is Summer and the hat girl is Liberty. Okay, we're just going to have to talk out here. Would be better if we were inside, but that's fine. We'll just be on the porch. We should have got furniture. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that later. Get some outdoor furniture. He seems to be hitting it off. Um, he hasn't really tried flirting with anyone yet, so we'll we'll see that. See if that works. Where is she going? Where did Liberty just? Oh, she's she getting a book. What is she doing? Okay. Oh my God, where's London going? Okay, London's got a book too. All right, they're just gonna chill and read their books. That's rude, guys. That's rude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like Liberty might have heard me. She's putting her book back. I think is she? Yes. Oh, London got food out of nowhere. Okay, weird things going on. I thought when you were invited over, you just. Oh look, she's putting the other book back. Maybe they'll come back and join the conversation. Oh god, look at that beak! Okay, so basically we we're mostly hitting it off with Summer. So we're pursuing that relationship because that seemed to be the best to do yesterday as well. We'll try some Okay, she wants to be embraced. That's good. That's a good sign. Look at that shirt. <laughs> Things are going well. We'll try for a first kiss, maybe? <laughs> oh, she's complaining. Oh, she's hungry. <laughs> That's okay, he's not a chef yet. But... Oh, she rejected him. That hurt. Come on, Summer, play the game. Oh. Okay, she mad. <laughs> Things seem to be going fine again. I don't know. This some of these work get to know seems to work. Oh, she's rejecting him again. Wonderful. Whoops. Oh, uh, and watch that go red. He really needs to pee. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, she just isn't interested in having a first kiss. That's fine. Okay, so what we know is Summer is a young adult and she's a culinary um, in the culinary career. So that's kind of good because, you know, our guy's a chef. Um, she's cheerful, outgoing, and active. And 
yeah, that's, I mean, we're not girlfriend and boyfriend yet, but we'll work on it. That can be next episode. Tune in next time and we'll find out if we can make this relationship work. Thanks for watching. You guys have been great. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.